Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, so I hope you're all having a great Monday. I'm just kind of sitting back because I've been so busy this weekend. Guys, I'm filming this on a Sunday <laughs> and I've just been running around like crazy. I had some good things that have happened which I've been waiting for for a long time. So I've been so excited and I've kind of celebrated a little bit but my kind of celebration is probably just watching horror movies and eating ice cream and chilling out. <laughs> Um, so yeah, um, so today's video is going to be, if you follow me on Instagram, you're going to know what this video is going to be about. If not, I'm going to tell you now. Okay, so you all know that I love red lipsticks. I wear red lipstick every single day. <laughs> and I do top it up with different ones, whichever one I have in my bag, to be honest. Um, and I just love trying different ones and see which ones I like. <laughs> and I did um, make a YouTube video recently about the lipsticks that I tend to use and to wear um, and I think they're all red yeah they're all red <laughs> I do have some peach ones and pink ones um, and some nude ones but I just don't really wear them that often but I did make a video so I'll let you guys I'll leave the link at the end of this video for you guys to go check it out so today <laughs> we're going to talk about these guys now you'll be asking jasmine what are you showing me i am showing you ravlon lipsticks da, 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 da. <laughs> so these lipsticks um i have four of them and they're all red apart from well i would say one's kind of pinkish but it still kind of looks red on the label here <laughs> um and these ones are all originals from the 1950s now that sounds so cool because it is like I still can't believe that these colors were around back then and they're still around now. Now I got these from just a local drugstore so like CVS or Walmart. I think well Walmart's a supermarket. <laughs> I mean like right Aid, just places like that or if you're from the UK then Boots, um, Superdrug, places like that will have Revlon lipsticks. So these ones I'm going to show you because they're all from different times. Now, where did I put my phone? I think I've lost my phone. Because <laughs> I was going to tell you guys where they're from. But obviously, oh, I'm sitting on it. <laughs> these videos always go well, you guys. Always goes well. Okay, so let's look them up. Because even though I did this before, I'm doing this again just so I have them. Ravlon. Here we go. Okay, so I did post the image a long time ago on my Instagram, but I am doing it again. So what I have, we have Rich Girl Red. Is this one even on this or did I think that this was on it? Okay, this one, Rich Girl Red, <laughs> is not from then. So never mind. I just obviously like this color and it's actually a really nice color. I will show you this anyway because I like it. <laughs> okay, let's go. Terry's in the snow and this one is from 1953 okay um i have certainly red and certainly red is from 1951 and then i have fire and ice and um, which is from 1952. so these are the ones that i have and i will put the chart on at the end um so i the reason why i got these is because as you know i love lipsticks and I love everything vintage and I did buy some old lipsticks from the 1950s which are still in their old packaging but you don't really want to use that. You don't know what's happening to that lipstick. You don't know, you don't know if someone's like had, you, you just don't know. And you don't want to put that, you don't take the risk of putting that on your lips, especially the products that they used in the lipsticks back then. Weren't the friendliest products to be honest. <laughs> So you don't want to cause any um, rash or reaction to your own lips. So I just use them just as just kind of 
pieces that I have in my wardrobe and things like that just to kind of decorate it but I would not touch it. <laughs> I'm like, no, <laughs> I'll just look at you. I'm not gonna use you. I might test the colors out just to do a match to be like, okay, this is similar to this one. But other than that, no. <laughs> so when I heard that these were still around, I went and got them so fast. <laughs> so these ones, I think I got them for, there was a deal going on that you could do like, I think it was two products. Um, so it's like buy one, get one free. And then they did one that was buy one, get one half price. I think I missed that one. But yeah, but buy one get one free and they were on Revlon. I think usually they're um, like three or four bucks, probably like about four bucks with tax. Um, so these were definitely something to get because I know there's a lot of lipsticks out there that are kind of on the pricey side. Um, I love Best Me products, but a lipstick is going to cost you around 22 bucks, 24 bucks for the limited edition ones. So sometimes I do like to find things like this. Um, so if I'm running out of a Best Me lipstick, at least I know I have some of these. Um, or as you guys know, I love the Bobbi Brown Parisian Red. That is my ultimate favorite lipstick. Um, so if I run out of that, which is running out because as I told you before, it melted into the car, you guys. And now it's like, I don't know what's going on with it. It's kind of like a, just a, a blob, if that's a word, of um, just red lipstick. Uh, it's definitely going to just melt and fall off very soon. <laughs> but anyway, it's for standing the time. I'm just using my lip liner brush and hoping for the best. Just kind of saving that lipstick as we go. <laughs> so let's start with certainly red. <clears throat> so just this, just a normal kind of reddish color, as you can see. Put it in the light for you guys. And I'll use my hand and I'll draw on. So this is a very kind of, I would still say it has um, kind of orange undertones as you can see, but it's a really nice red. And I don't know what's going on. What's going on with my mouth right now? Who knows? <laughs> um, and then we have Fire and Ice. And I have used this one as you can see a lot. <laughs> so again, I'll put this on here. And this one again, I would say, like I wore this yesterday, um, and it is a lot more, it has a lot more orangey than the other one. Um, but I tend to find that a lot of, um, well on my hand here, the Certainly Red looks a little bit more like a bluish undertone, like kind of pinky blue. Um, but the other one is definitely um, orange here, as you can see. I'll put my hand further back and you can see. So this one is a certainly red and this one is fire and ice and i need to paint my nails there we'll be chipping on you today <laughs> um and then the last one that i want to test for you that are from the 50s is um cherries in the snow i haven't used this one i don't like at all <laughs> um this one i would say is a more pinkier one so i'll just put this on here so here you go, you can see that there's definitely a difference in all the different colors. This one's definitely your pinkier one, your orangey one, and more of a true red. Even though when I first put it on, that one is certainly red. <clears throat> it did look a little bit more orangey, but maybe it's just because of the light. But now when you look at it, it is more kind of like a red, um, like a blue red, and then an orange, and then like a pinky red. So <clears throat> as we all know, like back in the 50s and things, they did have like three types of reds that would come out and it tends to be like a true red, an orangey red and a pinky red. That was kind of like their staples, kind of reds that they would have. Um, so these ones, are, I would definitely say kind of represent that a little bit. I would definitely say maybe the cherries in the snow is a little bit more pinkier, but they're both really nice colors and they still have that shine, like that nice gloss. So they're not too matte or anything like that. In fact, I don't even see they're matte at all. And um, it would definitely give you like a nice gloss. They're not going to dry your lips out because I've worn them before and they don't dry my lips out at all. I do tend to wear a lip gloss on top, just just a preference. But um, I, don't, I don't think you would even need that to be honest. And um, they go on very nicely. Um, I would definitely see still use a little bit of translucent powder over the top just to set them a little bit. Um, but they are really pretty colors. And now I see them in the light, I'm like. I like these <laughs> even more. <laughs> and now Gus is gonna chase Ben around the table. <sighs> you guys are probably like, her house is mad. Okay, now I'm gonna let you guys see this one because I actually really like this one. And even if it's not something that you would just wear on its own, but you could wear it as a top coat too because it is kind of shimmery. And this one's a sheer lipstick and it's 
Um, Rich Girl Rad. No, I didn't get this one. And I probably thought it was from the 50s, but it obviously wasn't. But it's a nice, like, sheen. So if you had one with lipsticks, um, you could easily put it on top. So you see it here. It is more of an orange. Um, it looks really orange actually on screen, but it actually is more kind of verging on to this colour here. Um, the fire and ice and I have mixed the two of them together before and it does give you a nice sheen a nice top coat and um, so I would definitely if, if you're looking for something to give you a little more, more you don't want something that's too pigmented um, but something that's just like a nice kind of red kind of orangey color then this one is definitely something to invest in so yeah so now my hands covered and I'm wearing a vintage cream skirt so let's hope that I'm not that clumsy that um, I rub it all over my white skirt <laughs> don't know if I trust myself with it. I just have to keep my hand here. I'm like, don't move it, don't look at it, just leave it until we wash it up. <laughs> so I I think, should I try these on? I think I might go try these on for you guys. Just so you can see what they look like on um, and so you have a taster. So stay tuned, I'm gonna go and try these on um, and I'll see you at the end. Okay, you guys, so I took off my red lipstick. I still have the lipsticks on my hand. They're doing well. They actually look kind of pretty. <laughs> okay, so, oh my hair, I can see the back now. What? Okay, so I took it off and I put some Vaseline on and then I dabbed it with my little, um, what do you call it? Beauty blender, just so that it gives you that kind of, kind of just a neutral kind of look so that we get to see what the true color is like. So I'm going to, Go try this one on now. Now this one is the Certainly Red. <laughs> Okay, so this one is a certainly red and it looks so vibrant on the camera right now. <laughs> but as you can see, it's kind of, um, I would say it does look like it has an orange undertone. But when it's on my hand, it kind of didn't compare to the other one, but there is definitely something like that going on. But I'm going to say, like, I love the, the shine that comes from these lipsticks because you don't actually need to put anything much on. And I didn't really put much Vaseline on, so this is just the way that the lipstick is. Um, and also, it goes on so well. It glides. <laughs> and this is just with one coat, so I am really happy with this one, as you can see. <laughs> So let's go try another one. <laughs> okay, I think my makeup is slowly coming off as we speak, but it's okay. So I generally, whenever I'm using a makeup wipe that I don't use at all, I just use it for um, taking lipstick off or just emergencies. Um, so I did use it and sometimes when it comes to like makeup wipes and things like that, especially when you're trying different lipsticks on, I tend to put a, a little bit more Vaseline on just because it stops your lips from getting dried out and getting like feeling like it's like, what the hell's going on? Why are you taking the, all this stuff off and then putting more stuff on and then taking it off? So it definitely helps to keep your lips moisturized. So anyway, without me blabbing on, this next one is gonna be Fire and Ice. So I'm gonna try this one on. <laughs> okay, so this one is Fire and Ice. Um, is a little bit more orangey, as you can probably see. There's not really much difference between this one and the other one, but like on my hand, as you can see, there definitely is. This one's a lot more red. <laughs> this one's more orangey. But this is just with one coat, and again, it goes on really nice. Um, and it's really smooth. It does not dry up my lips. I also, the Vaseline does help, but it's kind of nice that you don't need to worry about your lips getting dry when you put the first coat on or anything. <laughs> um, so yeah, so I definitely like this one. Um, and I'm going to put that little sheer one on so you guys can see. So give me a second. You can probably see me like <laughs> jumping over the chair. Okay, so this one's with just with the sheer. So I'll just put it on here. So as you can see, it does add a little bit more shine to the lipstick. Um, but it's, I definitely like this color. It's a color that's really nice um, for summer and spring. I would say it's even nice for fall if you don't want to do something that is too dark, um, like a dark red or something like that. 
then this is nice because it is kind of more orangey. It could fall in with the kind of Halloween thing. <laughs> but I tend to wear like this kind of colored and fall and not fall. Why am I saying fall? I think it's just because I'm talking about it. Um, but in spring and summer because it's a light color and it's a nice kind of summery color. So I definitely recommend it for that. So let's go try the other one, um, which is more of a pinky one, which might be nice. So, and I don't think I've actually tried it on. So this is the first time for everything. So let's do that. <laughs> Okay, so this time we're going to be using Towers in the Snow. Um, so this is the first time that I've actually properly put this on my lips. So stay tuned because we're going to do this now. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> okay, so I'm not going to lie. I'm kind of liking this pink. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but sometimes I feel like I don't really suit pink lipsticks that much, but I feel like I might suit this one just a little bit. I don't know if it's just because it's kind of like not too bright, 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 bright. I know it sounds weird, but I would say. <laughs> but you know what I mean, like not overly pink, so it's like really Barbie pink. This one's like a nice, like I would say like, it's a nice kind of casual pink. <laughs> And again, it does go on really nice. I don't know if you saw when I was like putting it on, I thought there was like a hair or something and it was really bugging me. I didn't want to touch it and then get the lipstick everywhere and then it looks like I can't do my lipstick. <laughs> it's like, what is she doing? Like picking out her lips. No, there was like definitely like a hair there. But as you can see, this one is a nice pink. And again, like the gloss, the sheen to them are so nice and they go on really well. Like you don't need to really go hard to get the color out and to make it pigmented. I mean, you could do a, a few more coats of this by blotting and then redoing another touch up and then blotting again and put some translucent powder on. However tight, how many times you want to do it. I know people say like two or three times, but te I tend to do it just twice. And then I just touch it up during the day um, because I don't really want to spend too long keep doing my lips, keep doing my lips. Um, so yeah, but this is this color and I will try the sheen one for you because I know that it's kind of something different. It might be something good to have. I definitely love having it because I love putting it on top. So let's go try this one out now. <laughs> okay, you guys. So last one to try. And this one is Rich Girl Red that I said I would try for you guys. So let's go try this one out. Okay, so as you can see, it's a very light kind of color. So you'd have to build it up depending on how strong you want it or how light you want it. Um, but it is very nice. It's kind of like a corally kind of light orangey color. Um, and it is nice on top of different lipsticks because um, it's very sheen. I really like this because it's, it's nice for just a casual day too. So if you're just kind of hopping out, um, you can just put this on. It's just like a nice kind of, just a nice summery color. Um, and also, I nearly fell there. <laughs> it's also a nice top coat on top of any other lipstick that you have that you feel you want another gloss but then you're kind of like mm, it might be nice to add something like this on top i don't know whatever you fancy i know i tend to put it on top especially fire and ice i like mixing those two together so you guys um i am done trying these on so let's go back to the review <laughs> i don't know why i did this you can see me in the background hey <laughs> Okay, you guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video um, and I thought you found it interesting just to find out different things, especially something that I, I know I keep looking at my hand, <laughs> especially finding lipsticks and makeup that's still around from the 1950s. I just think it's so cool and I just wanted to share it with all of you. Um, and if you did like this video, then don't forget to give it a like or a comment and don't forget to subscribe. Um, and if there is anything else that you would like to see in the future, then please let me know in the comments because I would love to make videos that you guys want to see and enjoy. I will be, once my roots have been touched up, which they desperately need to be because they're coming in really strong now. <laughs> um, I will be doing more hair tutorials. <clears throat> what is going on with my voice today? <laughs> <clears throat> I will be doing more hair tutorials and makeup tutorials. Um, and I will also be doing some more things like that on my Instagram. Um, because I just want to like, I love posting pictures all the time. But I do love to make videos. Um, and I just like doing tutorials and things like that. So I kind of want to incorporate some things from here. Um, 
on my YouTube, but also on my Instagram. So the people that don't subscribe to me that can see it there and then you guys can get a mixture of both content all the time. So if you guys are interested in that as well, then let me know in the comments. So without further ado, I think that's the end of my video. So I hope you have a great week and I will speak to y'all very, very soon.